Hello, this is Jimmy Lennon Jr. and a big shout out to my friends at Valera Boxing. It's showtime. Valera Boxing, I know, shout out. This Thursday, April 21, Joel Diaz of Palmdale, California, will face Mercito No Mercy Hesta of Orange County, California, by way of Cebu, Philippines, in the lightweight division as a headline a Golden Boy Promotions card at Fantasy Springs Resort in Indio, California, in the U.S. Diaz Jr. versus Hesta will broadcast live on the zone. Joel Diaz Jr. boasts a record of 26 wins and two losses, 22 of those wins by knockout. He's coming off a second round knockout victory over Gabriel Pena in August of last year in Mexico. The veteran Mercito Hesta has a record of 32 wins and three losses with three draws. 17 of those wins by knockout. Hesta is coming off a technical decision draw versus Carlos Morales over two years ago in November of 2019 in Los Angeles, California. Magandang ara mai kai vegan. Buenas Filipinas. I'm Chris from Valera Boxing. And I'm joined by Carlo and Monty. Carlo Monty, welcome to Mr. Coyote. Hey, Chris. Hey. Since the opening bell of his last fight over two years ago, Mercito Hesta has had a bit of an adventure to get to the opening bell this Thursday in Indio, California. The technical decision draw versus Carlos Morales was due to an accidental headbutt, resulting in a bad cut, forcing the doctor and the referee to stop the fight after the sixth round. In July of 2020, Hesta was scheduled to fight Hector Tanahara, but was forced to cancel due to a case of food poisoning. Nonetheless, here we are with an interesting and exciting matchup this Thursday. Hesta and Diaz have similar styles. Hesta, the Southpaw, is battle-tested. He's a veteran with impressive opponents on his resume. Joel Diaz Jr. does have an impressive knockout ratio. 26 wins with 22 knockouts. Both will be put to the test as they try to climb the ladder in the premier division of boxing, the lightweight division. Monty, your thoughts on Hesta and Diaz Jr. this Thursday? Uh, well, I think we're in for a very exciting fight. I think that Hesta is going to bring it. Uh, and Diaz is not afraid to back down. It'll, uh, there's the potential for a lot of fireworks. But I think that Hesta's deeper resume, uh, just overall <laughs> better fundamentals, uh, but also more of a dynamic uh, overall package. And as well as having fought higher competition, it's going to put him over the top. Yeah, I'm excited for this fight. You know, um, coming from a long layoff with uh, Esther and and uh, <clears throat> with Joel Diaz as, um, you know, as a fast starter, um, I would like to see how Hester reacts and how he, he responds, I should say. With uh, how uh, with Joel Diaz's um, um, style, fighting style, uh, younger age, and you know, um, watching his previous fights, you can tell he's a fast starter and he likes to throw his combinations early. So, I would like to. I'm really excited to see how Hester would we we respond to that type of fighter, especially coming from off of a long way off. So I mentioned their styles are similar with Diaz Jr. having an impressive knockout ratio. So clearly he has a lot of power. We spoke with Mercito Hesta. And one of the things that he mentioned was he has a, a, a pretty good chin. He's taken the best from some of the best. And he's only been knocked down once. And from his opinion or from his perspective, there are just some issues with that knockdown. And, you know, and I, I think that's completely fair just looking at his resume and recognizing who he's been in the ring with. And this guy, Mercito, is certainly a warrior, a veteran with exceptional skills. He's 34 years old, but Joel Diaz Jr. isn't exactly a 25-year-old either. He's 30 years old. And there's actually some history with these two, and Mercito mentioned that in her interview when we spoke with him a couple of weeks ago, that 
they've sparred together. There is at least one time on YouTube, and that, that was a fascinating and interesting sparring session to watch on YouTube. It was many, many, many years ago. And Mercito is very honest about that, too. Joel Diaz has, has gained a lot of skill and experience since that sparring session and has built himself a very nice career. But here they are. How do you think their two <clears throat> styles match up against one another? And if Joel Diaz certainly does have that type of power, what does Hester need to do to either absorb it, counter, and come out victorious on Thursday? I think Hester, I think Hester should uh, – Joel Diaz is a fast starter from, from the fights I've seen, previous fights he had. For example, one fight with uh, Regis Pogre. Um, he started fast. He started fast. Threw his combinations right away. He didn't waste any time. What's similar about that is Regis is a southpaw, just like Hester is. So it would be it would be good for Hester to maybe take notes from that and and and, and study jo- Joel Diaz's um, tendencies on that fight. We could tell Regis at some point knew exactly what what Joel Diaz's um, intentions were and he figured it out early he figured it out and he ended up stopping joel diaz um hester should start fast too he should jab more with this type of opponent um i i I'm, i don't i don't think hester is known for for his jabs or you know he's not really a jabber he likes to counter and time his opponents um with his previous fights um and like I said, I, I can't. I just can't wait to see how he will respond to this, especially with um, with his age at thirty four years old. I'm not saying that that could be the factor, but we all know that is a factor. Um, so, yeah, I think he should. You know, if, if Joel Diaz is gonna start fast, I think Hester should start fast too. And and I think the first four rounds. Um, he got to he got to he got to get those four the first four rounds in and not wait to play catch up. Um, especially this is a ten round fight; it's not even a twelve round fight. So, hopefully, has to um, find the the answer with this uh, a younger, um, high volume puncher um, opponent. Yeah, to to build off of uh, Carlos' point, the pro gray fight was uh, is very instrumental in understanding some of Diaz's weaknesses. Because uh, he seemed to have almost a complete inability to avoid, uh, <clears throat> I guess, a south a southpaw rightward pivot. You know that the exit angle off of a southpaw jab, you advance and then sidestep to the right or to Diaz's left. He was hit very frequently off of that change, off of that turn. Um, uh, in an otherwise, he seems fundamentally sound, but yeah, it was appeared very awkward. Uh, in defending an aggressive southpaw. And um, I, I think that a key uh, for Hester to, to achieve victory is to in, to avoid a knockout or to, uh, to avoid some of Diaz's heavier shots is to take advantage of those southpaw angles, uh, use his superior footwork. Uh, he's, when he wants to, when he, when he really has that killer instinct, he can move around and has very, very surprising mobility and, and the excellent lateral movement within the ring. Uh, it's actually quite exciting to watch when he puts it all together. However, we know that especially during uh, his, at previous fights, like during Linares, he can be lulled into periods of inactivity. So if we're talking about Hestis keys to victory, one is to take advantage of superior footwork, uh, Southpaw, especially turning, turning his opponent to his left, to his right also, and uh, make this a battle of uh, uh, kit and run move because you don't want to be there for some of Diaz's bombs. There's no, there's no need to take some of those, uh, some of the shots that he has taken. And yes, he is getting up there in age. Sometimes you turn, uh, you know, old overnight. And I think that, you know, with the disciplined attack, we can come away with a victory. You both made some excellent points. Joel Diaz Jr. does like to start very, very fast and he will. He's very bouncy on his feet. Again, I mentioned that they have similar styles. You know, Hesta's very bouncy on his feet also. Joel Diaz is very bouncy on his feet and he's going to come with a lot of volume and some power in the opening rounds. It being a 10 round fight, it, it, it happens very quickly. I mean, 10 rounds, it's not six rounds, but it's not 12 rounds either. Um, 
Ursito Hesta, like you said, Monty, needs to find that killer instinct. Age may have something to do with it. His conditioning can be top notch. Um, but what is top notch conditioning for an older athlete? He's certainly not 24 years old anymore. He's 34 years old. He's still an excellent elite athlete. And I'm not saying uh, that would be a disadvantage, but he does need to find that killer instinct because he has to match the type of intensity that Joel Diaz will come out with in the opening rounds. Let's get to Joel Diaz's keys to victory. Carlo. Joel Diaz's keys to victory is what he's been doing all these times. He's a fast starter. It throws a lot of combinations. Now, um, pacing himself perhaps for uh, a, a more durable fighter like Hesta. You know, Hesta can take a punch. Hesta is a veteran, so I'm sure he knows how to survive in there and he knows how to, to avoid these uh, dangerous traps and, and combinations that's going to come. So if he doesn't pretty much punch himself out early in the rounds and, and uses his combinations at uh, perfect timing and effectively and, and be efficient with his, his, his energy, then I think that could be the key to his victory and eventually perhaps overwhelm his opponent. Yeah, absolutely. The, the point is to overwhelm Hesta, to make him feel like an old man and, uh, and uh, make him uh, respect him by backing him up, not letting him you, use his footwork or use some of his, use some of his uh, 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 ringmanship or a generalship of the ring, which he's very, you know, quite known for when he puts it together uh, to use maybe a better jab to set up the power shots. Cause uh, I, I think that sometimes he's a little too direct. So if he really wants to take his, his uh, career to the next level and, and make a name of himself by, you know, beating a respected veteran like Hesta, he's got to improve his jab and, you know, diversify his game a little bit because the power is there, the volume is there. You know, I could see the, the shades of a, of a yet another version of Virgil Ortiz Jr. Just a, like a blitzing kind of attacking style. Uh, but yeah, he has to put it together during uh, against Hesta, and it's a hell of a challenge. Let's discuss predictions for this Thursday, Monty. How do you see this Thursday shaping up? I, I see, a, I see a win for Hesta. I see, I see a win for Mercedo, and I and I see it coming with a late stoppage. I think that if he builds uh, through the rounds and takes advantage of those south pie angles that um, Diaz struggles against, and takes advantage also of his of his uh, years of experience to bleed him a little bit to the body. We could have a late stoppage. Otherwise I see this going unanimous, but not, uh, I, unfortunately don't, I don't see a path to victory for Diaz other than if has to completely, you know, has an off, has one of those, uh, those off nights. I think Hesta can win this one. Like I said, I think it's, it's also, it's very, it would help a lot if he watches up for great video, uh, during that fight, uh, he can pick up some, some, maybe study some tendencies, some movements, how Pogray did it. Um, I think Hesta will win this by uh, unanimous. Now, Hesta, I wouldn't say he can just win it that way. I think Hesta needs to be more aggressive and throw more punches and, and use that jab. I think use that jab. Uh, Hesta likes to counter and time you. Uh, from from watching these fights, he likes to counter, um, wait for you to throw and try to throw at the same time and, 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 and land at an angle. I think he needs to be the guy who needs to push Joel Diaz around, be the aggressor, uh, throw more effective punches and, and, and throwing more volume at this point. If he's trying to prove and trying to get to the next level, he's going to have to throw more. And, and, and not rely so much more uh, on, on the counter punching. I think this is a great matchup against Styles McFights and their styles are very similar with different types of tendencies. Again, you have someone who's more of a knockout artist um, with a high knockout ratio versus someone, again, a veteran who has really incredible boxing skill. And if you, like Monty said, if he puts it all together and he has that killer instinct, Mercito has to, has it a wonderful and incredible shot of victory here this Thursday. Leave your comments 
and let us know who you think will win this Thursday from Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in Indio, California, Joel Diaz Jr. and Mercito nor Mercy Hesta. Let's go, Hesta. Team Hesta. No mercy. <laughs> no mercy. Come on, let's be Mercito Hesta. Let's go.